Good afternoon, everyone. Today I am doing a live ovulation test. Um, this is what I'm using this month. It's the Walmart brand and they, it says um, compared to Clear Blue Easy, which I like. I've used these before. They've always worked okay. I'm going to dip it and I'm going to talk. So it says 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 seems like a long time. It's already going across. I'll just put it in there just because. And so I will talk now. Today is cycle day nine. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that... Um, I am not using Famara. I have been using Famara for about the last, gosh, let's see, six or seven months. So it'll be interesting to see when I ovulate this month without the Famara. Um, normally without the Famara, before I was taking it, I would ovulate between cycle day 12 and 16, 17, maybe 18. Um, usually, Right around the average, you know, 14 or 15. Um, with the Famara, I have ovulated on um, cycle day 12 to 14, usually closer to 12. So today's cycle day nine. Um, that seems early, but I want to get a jump start on it in case something's going on. Um, I did, this is, you know, TMI, but again, this is a TTC video, so. Um, I'm sure it won't gross any of you out too much. I actually, ever since my period ended, which was like cycle day five, I've been having like fluid like gushes. And a lot of times that's the, you know, wet cervical mucus is a sign of fertility. Um, it's way too early. I'm not having any egg white CM yet or um, anything like that, but um, we'll give it a shot. We'll start today and you know, so that way, I have seven here. I didn't get a chance to order any Wanfos, which are like my favorite. So um, so let's see what's going on in my life that I can talk about until this is done processing. Um, I, well, as you can see, I need a haircut desperately. And I'm going to be doing that, I think, Saturday. I still haven't made the appointment though. So um, we'll see. Um, my husband is actually taking my seven-year-old um, daughter to Cedar Point for Halloween weekend. Um, he was going to take both girls, but Alexis's friend backed out, and she doesn't really want to go with just him and, um, you know, her little sister, which is understandable. So I think she's staying home. Um, I am going to be hanging out with some work friends on Saturday um, while they're at Cedar, Cedar Point. Um... Because I don't want to go because it seems like a waste of money. I don't ride roller coasters. Um, I don't want to spend the however much it is to get in just to, um, you know, walk around. So uh, I'm trying to think. What else? Just less than a week until I can call my insurance, new insurance company, and find out what fertility stuff is covered, if any, under our new insurance. Um, it does say fertility meds are covered, but we'll see which ones they're talking about. Um, I have a feeling that IUI is not going to be covered. Um, I'm, I'm setting myself up for that. So that's another issue that we'll have to, you know, deal with if it's, you know, if we're lucky, IUIs will be covered. Highly doubt it. It seems like here in Michigan, it's hard to get a lot of stuff covered. Um, other than that, like not a lot going on. Obviously, Halloween's next week. Oops. Obviously, Halloween's next week. Um, we'll be trick or treating. I probably will. I think my sister's coming out to go with us and um, her kids and stuff. So, um, anyway, has it been three minutes? I don't know. We'll we'll just check it. Let's just see because usually they turn positive pretty quickly, and I don't have anything else to talk about. Come on, there we go. Okay. Okay, so let's see where we're at. It is negative, but it is getting there. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I do tend to have darker lines 
than some people do um, before ovulation. So this is, is this is definitely negative. Um, I never would have an ovulation test that doesn't have a second line on it like some people might. I don't know why that is. There's really no explanation. I All my tests have been, you know, blood work's fine. But anyway, so all we know is that this is negative because that's the test line. Um, so that's good because cycle day nine seems a little early to have a positive. But judging by the looks of that, I would think I might get a positive you know, at my normal cycle day 11 or 12. And if you can't tell, I do have zits all over too, which is a good indication that something's going on. So anyway, I will do another OPK tomorrow afternoon and I will post the videos then. Hey everyone. So now it is cycle day 10 and I have already dipped the OPK um, because I didn't want to have to talk a whole bunch. So it's been developing for about one to two minutes. I um, am using the same one I used yesterday, which is just an Equate brand because um, we're trying to save money and I forgot to order one foes. So nothing special, but they seem to work for me. So anyway, um, cycle day 10, I have noticed some um, egg white cervical mucus today. Not a lot, just a little bit. Um, I don't think this will be positive, but I think it, it will be positive tomorrow or maybe the next day. Um, so I think I'm looking at a, an ovulation that's probably around um, cycle day 12 or 13 like usual, which is fine, good, whatever. Um, so I am right now getting ready. I have to do something with my hair, which I am getting cut tomorrow. Um, I'm going to the trunk or treat and haunted forest or something at the school um, with Ruby who is my younger daughter and um, my oldest daughter is was gonna go with with her friend um, but we she has to march because the high school band made it to playoffs this year so um it's a horrible day it's rainy they're doing the trunk retreat inside and the haunted forest is now gonna be like the haunted hallway I think I don't know so anyway um Tomorrow, Brandon is taking her to Cedar Point, and it will be just me and my oldest daughter, and I'm sure she probably will be doing something with her friends, so I'm going to get a haircut, and I'm going to hang out with my work friends and have some drinks, no judgment, please, um, which I am excited about. So, um, we're gonna, I guess we can check this now, because I've been talking for about two minutes. Nope, still negative. That's good though, because it is early. Um, it's only cycle day 10, but judging by my signs, I'm gonna guess it should be positive soon, but it is negative. So I will make another video tomorrow. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it is cycle day 11. As you can see, I got a haircut. Um, it looks a little rough right now, because you know how they style it at the salon and it's never what you want it to be. Anyway, um, I went shopping afterwards and now it's messed up. So um, anyway, I'm doing a live OPK again. Um, it is, um, let's see, I have done it already. I dipped it already. It's an Equate one Walmart brand, um, same as yesterday and the day before. And it's already developing and it's been doing so for about an, a minute. Um, please excuse my... Crappy tank top, I'm about to go lay down. I'm so tired. Um, I have stuff to do tonight and I don't want to be so tired. Um, my husband took my younger daughter to Cedar Point, like I said. My older daughter is here, she's downstairs. Um, but um, yeah, I look like a mess right now, man. Anyway, um, I have had some more egg white um, cervical fluid today. Um, but just now when I peed for the um, OPK test, it was um, actually not like that. So I don't know. Um, I don't think it's going to be positive, but I can feel a lot of like swelling. As you might know, I have a cyst on that ovary. Um, so I can feel a lot of things happening like um, ovulation in particular. Um, I can pretty much pinpoint the second that that happens because it's sometimes very painful or at least uncomfortable. So, 
Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be positive today, but I would put money on tomorrow, maybe, or the next day. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. Um, today would be fine, but um, a lot of times it sneaks up on me. Like I've done somewhere, it's like in the morning, it's negative, and then in the afternoon, it's like completely positive. So I have to like test twice a day, and I only have three tests left I think after this so I'm hoping you know I haven't tested today yet and I'm hoping that I don't I won't miss it I, I'll go buy some more but I'm hoping to not have to so anyway let's check it out it's been I've been talking for a few minutes here okay let's see yeah okay well I think that's positive um, I usually will get a darker positive, but it, to me that appears to be positive. Um, I'm going to take another one in a couple hours and then I will post that video and we'll see if it's any darker, but the, the um, test line is this line and this is the control. So it appears that it's, it's positive, but I don't know. And I don't know how long it's been positive because I didn't take one this morning. But that's okay, because I have time. Let me just make sure that I remember tonight. So, okay, well, I will do another one in a couple hours. Hello again. So, it's a couple hours later, and I dipped another OPK, and it is developing. It's been about close to a minute. Um, so, I have noticed more um, egg white cervical fluid. Um, I'm pretty sure that this test is going to be darker than the last one, which was pretty much positive. Um, not much to say. My husband is still gone. Um, we I hate the term baby dance, but sometimes it just sounds nicer than other things. So we did um, we did on Thursday. Today's Saturday. Um, and I like to do the every other day up until the positive. So today being the positive, probably at least, we'll definitely do, we'll definitely baby dance tonight. Um, so, um, now I don't know how late that'll be because I am going to my friend's house, um, but it will happen and we will probably tomorrow too. And by that point it, w it should probably be covered um, we'll see. So yeah, anyway, I'm pretty sure this is going to be positive. Um, I've been talking for a minute and 20 some seconds. We'll wait another few minutes. Um, I often wonder if, like, I don't know if the Famara, cause I'm not on it this cycle, but I'm still following that pattern. I don't know if that, because I've been on it for a couple months, like it will make it so you follow the same pattern. Um, so, like, I don't know, I know that cycle day 12 isn't too early to ovulate, but I know that also that worries me because I know I hear, like, the older you get, the earlier you ovulate, uh, ovulate the, the earlier you ovulate. So um, that scares me a little and everything worries me, so whatever. Anyway, let's check it. I feel like it was positive before and not now. Hmm. It's pretty close, but this is the test line and this one looks darker. I'm going to leave it for a second when I get it. I think I kept the other one. Hold on. This is the one from early. Oh, well, you know how these tests like fade. Maybe that's not positive. I don't know if you guys know. Again, I wish I had a digital. Um, it's definitely close enough. enough. Yet again, by a phone call. Anyway, really nothing else to say. Um, that this, like, OPK. Oh, you know, the it, maybe it wasn't developed enough. Uh, oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, it's not completely positive. The arrow is pointing to the test line. So, I don't know. Like, like I said, we're going to do 
tonight anyway, because if you're seeing fertile fluid, you should. So anyhow, that's all I got for now, and I'll probably do another test tomorrow.